two color brioche stitch. How to make the cushiest cowl pattern from MDK field guide number 21 brioche. In four short videos, you'll learn how to work the first rounds of the cushiest cowl designed by Nancy Marchant for modern daily knitting field guide number 21 brioche. In this series, you'll learn how to work two color brioche stitch in the round. There will be two setup rounds, followed by the two rounds of the pattern repeat that you will follow for the rest of the cowl. Before starting, using color B, cast on an even number of stitches for the size you're making, using the long tail cast on. Join, being careful not to twist the stitches. Place a ring marker for the beginning of the round. Now you're ready for setup round 1B, which is easy. Using color B, knit all stitches. and leave color B at the front of the work at the end of the round. The next round is set up round 2A, the first action round you'll work. The cushiest cowl, set up round 2A. Using color A, knit one, Bring the yarn to the front. Slip the next stitch purlwise. Bring the yarn over the slip stitch on the right needle to the back, creating a yarn over, ready to knit the next stitch. Notice that the yarn over looks like a little shawl over the slip stitch. And the yarn over and the slip stitch are always in opposite colors. Now repeat. Knit one, slip one yarn over, knit one, slip one yarn over, to the end of the round, ending with a yarn over. Work the last yarn over and drop the yarn to the front after working the yarn over. The cushiest cowl, set up round 2B. Pick up color B from under color A. Do not cross the yarns. Using color B, work the first slip one yarn over of this round. Slip the stitch purlwise. Bring the yarn over the right needle, over the slip stitch, and then between the needles to the front, ready to brioche purl the next stitch. Purl the stitch slipped in the previous round together with its yarn over. This is called a brioche purl, which is abbreviated as BRP or burp. With the yarn in front, slip the next stitch purlwise. Bring the yarn over the right needle, over the slip stitch, and then between the needles to the front, ready to brioche purl the next stitch.
Brioche purl the next stitch, which means to purl the stitch slipped in the previous round together with its yarn over. Now repeat these two stitches. Slip one yarn over, brioche purl. Slip one yarn over, brioche purl. To the end of the round, ending with a brioche purl and dropping color B to the front of the work. The color A yarn is sitting on top of this last brioche purl. Now you've worked the two setup rounds. Next up, the two rounds that you will repeat for the rest of the cowl. The cushiest cowl, pattern round 1A. Color A is sitting on top of the last brioche purl worked in the previous round. Without crossing the yarns, take color A to the back to work the first brioche knit stitch of the next round. Using A, brioche knit one. This means to knit the stitch that was slipped in the previous round together with its yarn over. Then slip one yarn over. Repeat brioche knit one, slip one yarn over until the end of the round. Work the last slip one yarn over and drop the yarn to the front after working the yarn over. That's the first of the two rounds you'll repeat for the rest of the cowl. The Cushiest Cowl, Pattern Round 1B. This is the second of the two rounds you'll repeat for the rest of the cowl. Pick up color B from under color A. With the yarn in front, slip the next stitch purlwise. Bring the yarn over the right needle, over the slipped stitch, and then between the needles to the front, ready to brioche purl the next stitch. Brioche purl the next stitch. This means to purl the stitch that was slipped in the previous round together with its yarn over. Now repeat these two stitches. Slip one yarn over, brioche purl to the end of the round, ending with a brioche purl and dropping color B to the front of the work. That's it. Repeat round 1A and round 1B for the rest of the cowl until it's time to bind off. After a few repeats, distinctive vertical stripes will emerge. Congratulations, you're a brioche knitter now. You can find the complete pattern for the cushiest cowl along with illustrated instructions and additional tips on brioche knitting by Nancy Marchant in Modern Daily Knitting, Field Guide Number 21, Brioche. The field guide and all the materials for making Nancy Marchant's brioche designs are all available in the Modern Daily Knitting shop. Join us every day on moderndailyknitting.com for knit-alongs, how-tos, and beautiful shopping for yarns, books, and everything else that makes knitting fun. Love, Ann and Kay.